Create hard landscaping areas. Now you'll learn how to create a hardscape definition and draw with the hardscape tool. The hardscape tool is a very powerful tool for creating 2D and 3D representations of hard landscaping. You can draw with it or create hardscape from existing shapes. It can also keep track of the materials used in your design. In this exercise, you'll use the hardscape tool to create a lawn. But maybe you're thinking that a lawn is surely a softscape. Well, I use hardscape for lawn because it's an easy way to create a 2D, 3D lawn and to quantify the area. Create lawns. Using the navigation palette, make hardscape main the active class. On the site planning tool set, click the hardscape tool. Look at the toolbar. There are two modes for drawing, boundary mode and pathway mode, for drawing areas and paths respectively. There are also exactly the same modes as you've used with the polyline tool. Choose boundary mode and then corner vertex mode. And then click on the hardscape tool preferences button. Complete the hardscape object settings dialog as follows, leaving all other settings unchanged. Hardscape name, lawn. Joint pattern, none. Main area class, hardscape component, lawn. Draw border, check. Width, 15 millimeters. Joint pattern, none. Background color, click on the color and choose a pale gray. Border class, hardscape, component, border joint. 3D type, slab. Thickness, 35 millimeters. Main texture, landscape grass, fairly green. Border texture, metal, chrome, brushed. Click OK to close the dialog. Click on the point where the bottom of the arc meets the bottom straight edge of the lawn area. As you move clockwise around the shape, continue to click on points up to and including the upper edge of the arc. Remember, you can use the snap loop, the Z key, to zoom to each point without having to change your overall view. Move your cursor up to the toolbar and change mode to point on arc mode. Click anywhere on the arc and again at the end of the arc. This will close the shape and display the lawn. Choose the mirror tool from the basic palette. Click once on the center point on the two rectangles crossing the site. Move the cursor upward, snapping to the vertical cue and click again. The hardscape object will be mirrored. Use the selection tool together with the shift key and click on the original hardscape so that both hardscapes are now selected. Use the mirror tool again, this time drawing a horizontal reflection line through the centre of the horizontal rectangle. Create the paved areas. Click the selection tool and press the shift key. Select the two rectangles that cross the site horizontally and vertically. Choose Modify, Add Surface to add these two shapes together and form a single polygon. Choose the Landmark Create Objects from Shapes command. Complete the Create Objects from Shape dialog as follows. Object type, Hardscape. Delete source shapes, check. Click OK to close the dialog and create the hardscape. The resulting hardscape will have the same settings as the lawn, but we'll change that now. Look at the object info palette and confirm that the object has become a hardscape. On the resource browser, locate the hardscape limestone one resource that you created earlier. Drag the hardscape resource onto the new hardscape to transfer the settings. Click the selection tool and select the hardscape. Choose Modify, Send, 
Send to Back to place the hardscape below the water feature on the plan. Leave the file open as you'll continue working with it in the next section.